Hello everyone. Hope everybody had a great day today. And yesterday, um, I had attend a uh, tent revival at um, Locust, North Carolina. Um, it was absolutely amazing. Um, when we got there. You, know, you can tell that the peace of God was there. And in the love from others. And they had a beautiful tent stage. Um it it like drizzled a little bit as we was there. Um but the moment that we had a moment to to pray for each other, I uh, met two two wonderful people. No, three, four wonderful people out of, um, out of a group. We had to split off and do street ministry, and it was very very wonderful uh, to meet them. I'm glad I met them uh, in my life. And just to pray for each other, and and it was just uh, the peace of God. Um, this this everywhere on everybody, and we just letting go and letting God in, letting Jesus in, and letting Him have control of taking stuff out and when I got prayed over um, and the love of God just came and the anointing just came and it was just, just overwhelming uh, next time I know it, I'm like this as soon as he touched me I was like this going forward it was like my body was just I ain't had no control of my body. It just the the power of God just came up, came on me. As soon as he, as God was releasing things out of me, and I just boop, like I ain't had no control of my body, and I was just laying there speaking in the spirit, and when I got up. Man, my God, like, just everything that I've been worrying about, stressing about, um, keeping in my head, it just vanished. All of it was just gone. And just the peace of God was just filling, filling me. And just the, the focus on this moving forward was that came on, on inside of me of keep doing the will of God and also keep learning and it was just so amazing uh, I'm so thankful that I went um, that Thursday or we went yesterday Saturday and I had it Thursday and Friday. I didn't go those days. Because I was, um, I don't know. I didn't feel led to go at those two days. But it was definitely uh, working on me that Saturday. And, um, and Pops um, was asking me and stuff. And when I, the more I kept thinking about it, when I go, um, when I kept, um, what oh, no. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look Oh, let me 
ますよ。いいかな。<笑>
So it was in a Jeep. So when the Jeep had stopped, the Jeep had literally stopped. And mind me, mind you, I'm I had this sign language to the car. Cause I couldn't I, I, I kept going like this to cars and doing um, trying to get the car's attention to, uh, just to pray and once the uh, that, um, really it was nothing but God of uh, me doing sign language and that car stopping and the woman had stopped once I saw that it, it was a woman, and she and she stopped, and it was, uh, she had family in the car. So we asked her what we what she wanted to pray for. So we, we pray for her. Uh, me and two uh, the young man and um, another um, young lady, and we just prayed uh, with the family. And that was just a beautiful moment of something like that of doing sign language to stop a car or try uh, that it connected with that lady to to pray. And that and once we prayed, a tear was just coming down my eye, like. It was just like a beautiful moment, like of uh, the Holy Spirit connecting in a different way to to blossom and plant a seed into something beautiful. Of uh, step down in faith and just trusting God, and it worked. Because all I kept seeing is cars go by, go by, and after you, you try to um, say something, it just, it's just going by, going by. But that was one beautiful moment of something I will never forget. That was, that was a beautiful moment. And, and being around the team that I was with. I would not forget them. They were very wonderful people. Um, then, so, after we moved from McDonald's, and everybody get a chance to pray for somebody and witness to somebody, and so we moved to an area, um, looks like a restaurant and a vape store and some other little shop center. No little shop center state, like this one little section. So we go in the parking lot and continue the street ministry. And we, we continue to stay humble. Um, and just let God uh, do his thing. And as we being willing vessels to keep doing it. So, after we um, took turns, kept taking turns, I did not realize that thing, the microphone, that uh, you be yelling on, yelling in, will be so heavy. That thing is heavy. And after a certain time, I'm like, man. So, after we carrying that thing, take turns carrying it, and... Using that as a tool, an instrument, and using our voice of the word that's inside of us, and it was it was beautiful. It it was beautiful. Um, I would definitely love to do that again. Street ministry, that was awesome. Um, that was definitely out of my comfort zone because I I never done that before. Uh, and, and a speaker and yelling out the, the beautiful words of, of God and praying for people. Well, I, I was used to praying for people in the community, just uh, whoever was willing like to just to pray together. Um, I was comfortable in that area. 
but just and but preaching out like that like openly that was definitely something different um that was different but i i loved it i enjoyed it of what god was doing and god is amazing it it was amazing it was um i don't know if it's like you get a different a, di a different different i don't know it, it, I don't know how to explain it. It's just different up under a tent than, like, a church. I don't know. It's just different. I don't know how to explain it. It's just... I don't know how to explain it. I really don't. It's... Just, I love... I love both. Don't get me wrong. I do love... I love both. Uh, the tent and the, uh... And going to the actual the building of the church, house of the church. But it's like up into that tent. It's like man. That's like more of the I don't know how to explain it. It's like you get more. I don't I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It just it's different to me. And it's so it's so amazing in an amazing way. Um, but I just wanted to recap on what I did Saturday. So Sunday, um, as today, um, I went to Calvary, and Pastor Ron had talked about um, returning, returning to. Returning back to our first love and our first love, um, Jesus, and how we were at that at that time, we was, we were so excited. And he he came from Revelation uh, chapter two, and how we were so excited when we came to Jesus, and how we can keep that going back and so we can continue to keep that that hunger going when we are thinking about Jesus and continue to think about him and what he done for us because once we once we are too hungry once we are um, lacking on not eating and we are we end up eating on different things, and what I mean is putting other other things in our body, other than like the Word of God. And once we end up putting other things in our body, when we put the Word of God in our body, we're putting that life in our back in our body. We're getting recharged and getting rebuilt. Then the word is always going to help us on situations that we're going through, um, and it continues as we continue to trust. So we just talked about a little bit about he talked about uh, about that and just uh, knowing that Jesus is our source, understanding that Jesus is our source. Uh, helping us to get through the different things that we get through and to, to trust and to trust him and be willing so I hope this um, encouraged you today uh, it definitely in, encouraged me of what I went through today and and yesterday yeah my, I don't know, after getting back up off that ground and all the different things, just, I'm just, I want more of God. <laughs> just want more. I want more of Jesus. And it's so amazing. Like, I'm, I'm so thankful 
of letting him in my life and giving me that peace over things that I was dealing with uh, personally inside of me. That was hard for me to dig, dig in and touch and to move out myself. Because a lot of things we can't we can't move out ourselves. That's real, real deep. Because, but he has the tools and stuff and the word of God to help us to dig out those deep things that's hindering us. And he will, and that stuff will come out when we trust him to bring it out to and put in that healing. So, man, I'm so thankful. I am, I am a child of God. I am amazing. I am healed. Other things on the inside. God is good. Continue to speak good things each day. Continue to speak good things. And let's go into prayer. Heavenly Father, just thank you for my brothers and sisters. Lord, I pray that whatever situation they're going through, that they trust you and as they give it to you. So they can get that healing. And they can keep moving forward with you. Because they're too amazing to have these strongholds. Lord, they deserve that, that free, that freedom to enjoy life. To see things your way. Now have your way in their life as they allow you to come in and move things out of their hearts their mind and giving them the tools to to rebuild but teaching them that they're not alone as they rebuild in their healing in their renewedness and we pray in Jesus name amen and amen I love you God loves you. Peace. God bless.